Hello everyone. In this video, Kathy and I share with you our trip through Dodge County, Georgia. In it, I will give you information about the county, some of the history that, that I know about, uh, and different places in the video. Uh, and we finish up with our, our ride through, drive through of uh, Empire, Georgia, which is one of the small unincorporated communities in Dodge County. And there wasn't enough of that to make an actual video, so it's, it's going to be at the tail end of this video. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you enjoy travel videos, and if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you have already subscribed to our channel, uh, thank you for doing so. We appreciate you. If uh, you have not subscribed yet, uh, we ask that you do so. That, that helps us helps our channel grow. If um, there's some information about Dodge County that you want to share that we didn't include in the video, if you'll leave that down in the comment section uh, under the video description, uh, we'll appreciate that. And uh, share this video with some of your friends that might like to uh, might enjoy a travel video. And as always, we just wish you a very, very blessed day. Hey, honey. We're in Dodge County. Hello, everyone. This is Hubert and Kathy from Traveling with Hubert. Uh, sorry about this uh, rain, but we didn't have any, any choice in that. It just uh, it happens. But we're crossing the river, uh, headed into Dodge County. We will give you some information about Dodge County as we show you what it's like to, to travel through the county. Uh, you'll get to see what uh, rural Georgia looks like, and especially as it's represented by Dodge County. see a lot of trees, a lot of green. I know a lot of people today are interested in green space. But we have it in abundance. So if you like green spaces, you might want to check out the counties in Georgia, rural counties in Georgia. In 2020, Dodge County had a population of 19,925. That's uh, down a little bit from 2020. It's down about 8.6%. The county seat of Dodge County is Eastman. Uh, Eastman has uh, a little over 5,000 people in it. The other two cities in Dodge County or Chauncey and Milan. Have two towns, Ryan and uh, Chester. And we did not make it to Chester in this video. Nor did we make it to Milan, but I think I have some old footage. or 15 months ago not necessarily of Milan but we were riding through and I just turned the camera on There are three unincorporated communities in Dodge County. One is Empire. You will see that at the end of this particular video. 
uh, than Plainfield in Ontario, which we did not make it to in this video. The rain seems to have let up a little bit, so maybe the rest of the video will be a whole lot better. We are about to come into Rhine, one of the towns in, in Dodge County. There's something you'll see a lot of if you travel much in South Georgia, and that's farm equipment on the road. You'll see a lot of houses like the one on the right, uh, abandoned. Some of them are falling down, some of them are a little better shape than that. come into Ryan, there's a city limit sign. You'll see this uh, convenience store, gas station. Some residences. Then this place on the left with those big tall trees, I was told that that belongs to the local uh, pharmacist beautiful place. Seems to be out of place in a little place like Ryan. We're going to take a lift here at the light. If we go straight down this road, uh, you'll go to Milan. Uh, that road was Highway uh, US 280, by the way. This is Georgia 17, and if we stay on Georgia 17, we'll go to the county seat, Eastman. It's a house on the right that look, that's abandoned. Uh, some of the other houses are very, very nice. We always run into a FedEx truck. Sometimes more than one. We're turning here uh, on Georgia 165. Uh, we're headed to Chauncey, which is one of the cities in Dodge County. You'll see irrigation systems working in Georgia. I grew up in, in Georgia and I don't really remember seeing a whole lot of irrigation systems when I was growing up. Give you a little history about the area. Prior to 1802, this area was home to uh, the Creek Indians, <clears throat> but as settlers began to come and they wanted more land, uh, there was a treaty uh, made with the Creek Indians that ceded all the lands east of the Old Mulgee, and those lands were taken by 1805. Then out of that big chunk of land, the state of Georgia had a land lottery. And you could put your name uh, into the lottery. They drew your name out. You got a piece of property. So that's, that's how you know the European settlers got in possession of this land. You see on the right another huge farm field. And that was a large uh, section of land that was ceded to the settlers. And several counties have come from that land, were made out of that land. The earliest one was uh, Wilkerson County. Uh, 
it was formed in 1803 out of that land. Then later, Telfair and Lawrence were, were created from Wilkerson County to make, I, I guess, administration uh, easier. Then uh, Pulaski County was formed from Lawrence County in 1808. And then uh, one of those wonderful inventions that we don't utilize in my way of thinking as much as we should, and that's the rail system in this country. But the Macon and Brunswick R Railroad was built and like all back then, as, as the railroad came through, uh, towns uh, popped up all along the railroad tracks. And the railroad, the Macon and Brunswick Railroad, was uh, far, uh, far away from the county seat of Pulaski County, which that would be Hawkinsville, Georgia. So it was this, the people who made these decisions decided that there should be uh, a new county with a, another county seat. So out of, out of uh, Lawrence County and, and some of Pulaski County, Dodge County was formed. Uh, and it was named for William E. Dodge, who was uh, the legislative legislative leader at the time. He also built the courthouse in Eastman that was in service and use uh, up until 1908. So I guess a few were influ influential. Donate the money to build a building, you can have your name on something. Talk about the, uh, the uh, economics of, of the area. In Dodge County, the medium the median household income is $33,580. The per capita, uh, excuse me, the uh, median family income is 46460 but then the per capita income is 16228 And of the people in, in, in Dodge County, 20% of them fall below the poverty line. And you know, every place has a history, something that they're known for. Sometimes they're known because it's, there's nothing they're known for. But anyway, uh, the thing that Dodge County is infamous for is, uh, has to do with elections. They've had several vote buying scandals that have cost uh, public officials their, their positions uh, and there's also a good deal of uh, good uh, a record of voter fraud in Dodge County now that's about all I know about the county if you happen to know of something more interesting than what I've talked about uh, if you'll leave that down in the video description comment section. We would appreciate that information. Okay, the stop sign area tells us that we're about to come into uh, U.S. 341, that's a four-lane road all the way from Perry, Georgia, down to the coast at Brunswick. And as soon as we make this right, this is, this is Chauncey. There's a marathon station there on the, on the right. You'll see uh, a few businesses along here. I think there's a campground on the left over there. Dollar General, uh, they're pretty much everywhere in Georgia. I don't know how they are anywhere else. And 
and you'll see some residential uh, areas, a uh, house there right on this, this main road. We, we have a video of, of a driving tour through Chauncey. Uh, it's been up about a week. Also have one of Ryan. I didn't mention that when we were going through Ryan. The building on the right is the old school. Also now is the government offices. I think this building here where the flag is, that's that's the police station, fire department, maybe. Right, we're headed toward Eastman now. Headed out of uh, Chauncey. It's about a 10-minute drive. This has to do with state history, it's not necessarily uh, Dodge County history. But at one time, the roads in Georgia were really, really good. They were well kept, well maintained. But we had a politician that that was his thing. He wanted Georgia to have good roads, and when you have a politician that uh, pushes those kinds of things, they usually get done. some of the wide open spaces that we have, farmland. Uh, the sun's shining now. It's, it's a beautiful day right now. I think that was a city limit, city limit sign for Eastman. There's a large factory over on the right. I'm assuming they make bags. Monday. Not sure about the pronunciation of that bags, LLC. Yeah. Uh, 341 parallels, uh, the railroad track. <clears throat> okay, the business uh, route goes straight bypass uh, veers off to the left here you'll see some businesses here there's a, a motel car dealership Another lodging place, the Quality Inn. In our Eastman video, we thought that place might have been closed, but I see that they have some U-Haul uh, trucks there, and there was a truck parked here, so maybe it's it's still in business. It looks like a Stuckey's building. Stuckey's was a restaurant, gift shop, all, all for tourists, all up and down the major roads through through the south. I'm sure. So you can see there's a lot of business. Uh, Dairy Queen here. Uh, we actually stopped here to eat lunch. impressed with the number of places to do business in Eastman. Now, 
not having, not being from here, not being familiar with the area, we had uh, some trouble navigating the, the, the area. In fact, we went by. Uh, little restaurant up here called Jack's three times. So this is July the 5th. The little park here seemed to have been decorated for July the 4th. We uh, stopped at this uh, McDonald's. Temporarily. The old business districts over on the right. We actually turned at this flight, went through a residential area, and then came back and went and rode through uh, what used to be downtown Eastman. Uh, you can see that in our Eastman video. It's the first uh, Baptist church. Another church you see up here on the right should be uh, right here. That's the Presbyterian Church. Colony Bank. There are several of those around us. Kathy asked me about <clears throat> Kathy asked me about the school system. There's a big school complex up here on the left. Uh, I know that the sign right next to this building says middle school, but I, I'm thinking that the high school was back behind that. This shopping center here, I think, was originally where uh, Walmart was, which brought up a question. And that was, where in the world is Walmart? We set out to find it. Which also led us through another part of the county that we probably would not have gone through had we not been looking for Walmart. side of uh, Eastman now. We we're riding on uh, US 23. We're going to be turning to the left up here soon. I will put the name of that street in the video because I don't recall it right off the top of my head. Another school here, I believe. <clears throat> Another school here, we, we originally thought this might be the high school, but it's, uh, it's, an, it's a primary school. Nice um, body of pond, lake, and water. We're about to take a lift here, and there's a cemetery here. And the name of the cemetery is Orphan Cemetery. I will try to find some information about that and again put it in the video where you can see it. But if any of you that are watching this know what the history behind the name of that is, uh, I would really like to know. So if you'll leave that down in the comment section, I would appreciate that. Another not city limits here. This is, this is back out in the county. There's a sign coming up shortly which says uh, Eastman City Limits. 
you need to be on the lookout for that. The structure on the left up here is what we call a fire tower. The base, really, actually, it is an observation tower so that people can spot wildfires. Here's the city limits. So we're back in Eastman. It doesn't look like it, but that's what the sign said. Turn to the right here. You can see it on the right. That's uh, US 341. We came into or to Eastman on 341 from Chauncey. Now we're going to turn and head back toward Chauncey because we're still looking for the Walmart. You know, sometimes you just get these uncontrollable urges to shop, and if you don't know where the Walmart is, you just panic. I'll have to say this about the cloudy day. It has served a useful purpose. It has kept the glare off the windshield. It's one of the things that we have difficulty with, and I'm, I'm sure other YouTubers that make the same kind of videos that we do uh, deal with that as well. One of our early, earliest videos, we discovered uh, you always try to plan your trip so that the sun is behind you and not in front of you. Uh, you don't want to ever try to video riding into the sun. Just a little word of advice. Blue sign that says there's a hospital up here. We're going to ride by. Okay, when we were in Ryan, we said mentioned uh, Georgia 117 that you could take it and come into Eastman. It crosses US 341 right here to the center section. Matter of fact, I think that's what the name of the, the, this road is that's crossing here is the East Monroe Road. And this is the, another name for US 341 is Golden Isles Parkway. Okay, on the right is the Walmart Shopping Center. Sonic there, there's all kinds of shops in there. We did not ride down in there. So Burger King. It's Indian Drive. The road to the actual address for Walmart. There are medical offices, uh, the hospital is all right here on the right. So if you're traveling through the air and need a hospital, this is where it is.
houses here are a little more congested, seem to be a little more closer to the road, a little closer together, a little older homes. Yes. And we're back downtown. Like I said, we got turned around several times. Okay, we're leaving Eastman now, uh, headed toward Empire, US 23. It's clouding back up a little bit. I think it actually uh, rains on us a little bit as we headed toward Empire. Road. Uh, they've cleared off that land over there. I don't know whether they're going to replant it in trees or whether they're going to put some kind of building there. You know, sometimes we just don't know these things. I've gotten to that age in my life now where it's okay not to know things. Well, we've made it to Empire. Uh, it's across the road, uh, US 23. It was about this time that my uh, GoPro that I had in facing out the windshield stopped. So I had to stop and change out to another GoPro. Empire's just a community. And I probably would have not come here except that my sister uh, and her husband, well, he was ordained as a missionary and she was commissioned as a missionary at the uh, uh, Pentecostal Holiness Church here. And they spent, uh, I think it's almost two years, a little over two years maybe, in Romania until uh, my brother-in-law had some health issues and had to come home. If we continue on this road, we would go to Chester. I think this is uh, Georgia 257. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. I've traveled down it several times. I should know. But I think that information is temporarily offline. Okay, we're headed back into Empire after we turned around. Uh, and you'll see there's uh, not a whole lot here. A few houses, a couple of churches, and that's about it. This church is a Baptist church, and we turned around here. Uh, the road seems to dead end here. So we went back down to this street. We made a right, and this church is the uh, United, uh, excuse me, Pentecostal Holiness Church. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for coming along and watching it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you do, you know the routine. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Share. And 
there's something about any of these places that we didn't include that we didn't know about, please leave, please leave that down in the comment section.